In the potato paradox, Fred brings home a hundred pounds of super special mathematical potatoes. These mathematical potatoes are 99% water and 1% dry mass. So what he does is he leaves the potatoes out overnight and they dry out, so now they consist of 98% water. Pause now if you want to guess what their new weight is now that they're 2% dry potato. Surprisingly, the batch of 98% water potatoes only weighs 50 pounds. This chart here is pretty helpful. That golden dot up at the top there represents the dry potato mass before they get dehydrationized. It accounts for one of the hundred dots that are the entire potato weight. So when the water evaporates, that one pound of dry potato doesn't change in weight, but now it has to account for 2% of the total weight of the potatoes. So without changing the weight of the dry mass of the potato, you have to half the total mass of the potatoes. And when that same dot is set within 50 dots, each dot now contains 2% of the potato weight. So the 98% water taters only weigh half as much as the 99% water taters. Also, if you were curious, a regular non-mathematical potato contains about 79% water. A boiled potato is 77% water, a baked potato is 75% water, and a microwaved potato is 72% water.